Good evening. A worldwide public relations firm is now representing the state of Indiana in an effort to ramp up the state's image. But why hire a company outside of Indiana to celebrate what is so great about our state? News Channel 15, Sarah Wagner joins us now with more on that decision. The Indiana Economic Development Corporation, or IEDC, announced the hiring of Porter Novelli earlier today. While the news comes after the fallout from the religious freedom law, IEDC says the partnership has been in the works for some time. We want more people around our nation and beyond to really know more about the real Indiana. Indiana's religious freedom law got national attention. Some positive, but mostly negative. The state says that backlash helped speed up the decision to hire the New York-based PR firm Porter Novelli. It gives added impulse to the decision. It's just a, yet another reason, really, to amplify what Indiana is and, and tell people our story. With 90 offices across the world, Porter Novelli's client list includes many household brands like UPS, T-Mobile, and Disney. The firm is also responsible for the anti-smoking truth campaign, commercials you'd probably recognize from the last decade or so. We really made a, a deliberate decision and said, we have a good sense of ourselves. Uh, shouldn't we be asking someone, a group of people who have a different kind of experience, maybe different perspectives outside looking in, and help us think more aggressively, more broadly about Indiana and how we communicate to people. IEDC says the state has great PR firms, but it felt it really needed that outside perspective, something local PR expert Anthony Giuliano calls a smart move. There's always a challenge when Indiana state government hires from outside the state. But sometimes there's good reasons for that. Sometimes there's expertise that they can't tap into locally. And sometimes the objectivity that comes with being out of state brings better answers because they're not as engrossed in this issue as maybe a firm in Indianapolis or in Fort Wayne might be. The state hasn't given a price tag for the contract or a timeline of how long the partnership will last. It does say, though, that it is looking to make a significant investment. Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.